Microsoft Word documents are widely used and being able to create them programmatically using Java can help in many situations. In this video, we will create a Java project from scratch and see how to create Microsoft Word documents using Apache POI, how to create titles, paragraphs and how to format them. We will see how to insert images as well as how to create tables programmatically. These should broadly cover the various things we need to have when creating Microsoft documents. Apache POI, a project run by the Apache Software Foundation, provides pure Java libraries for reading and writing files in Microsoft Office formats such as Word, PowerPoint and Excel. For Microsoft Word, there are two set of APIs, HWPF which deals with older Word formats of .doc extension and XWPF which deals with a later .docx extension. We will look at this API in this video. We would need the POI-OOXML dependency for working with XWPF. In terms of the general approach and flow towards creating a Word document, you would create an instance of a document. From there, to create titles, subtitles, paragraphs, you would first create an instance of XWPF paragraph where you can specify things like paragraph alignment, border indentation, etc. For every XWPF paragraph, you will create an XWPF run object instance using which you will specify things like the text of the paragraph, color, font, etc. To create a table, you would create from the document an instance of XWPF table and from there create multiple instances of XWPF table row for as many rows you want of the table. When we go through the demo, the usage will become very clear to you. First, to create a .docx document, let's google the Apache POI OOXML Maven to get the dependency. Click on this link, get the latest version here 5.25, copy it to the clipboard. Here I have IntelliJ running on my machine. Let me click on new project, give it the name POI Word, language Java, build Maven, click create. Alright, the project is generated. Let's go to the pom.xml file. Create the dependencies node and paste the POI-OOXML dependency over here. Let's go to the Maven and reload to resolve the Maven dependencies. Next, let's go to the main Java class. Remove all the generated code. Let's first create a string variable output where we will give the path and name of the Word document we want to create. Next, let's create an instance of XWPF document, call it document, which is new XWPF document. Next, let's create an instance of XWPF paragraph, call it title as document.createParagraph. On this paragraph instance, let's call set alignment. You can set the border indentation too if you want to. Set the alignment as paragraph alignment.center. Next, for the paragraph, create an instance of XWPF run as title.createRun. Using this run object, you can set the text for the para, let's say generate word document using Java. We can set a whole lot of other attributes of the paragraph like color, specifying the RGB code, using title r.setBold to true to make it bold, set font family as courier, font size as 20. Next, let's create the subtitle using the same theme so create a new instance of XWPF paragraph, call it subtitle as document.createParagraph. Set the alignment by calling subtitle.setAlignment as paragraphAlignment.Center. Again, create a run for the subtitle sub r as subtitle.createRun. Set the text of the subtitle to Apache POI, the Java API for Microsoft Documents. Set the color for the subtitle, font family, font size. 
The set text position method sets the distance between the subtitle and the next word element. Let's also underline the subtitle as underline pattern dot dash. Let's now see how to insert an image in our Word document. It will follow the same theme of creating a paragraph element and creating its run. So let's create a paragraph, call it image, set its alignment to center, create the run instance called image r as image dot create run. Now let's set the text position to 20 to create a separation between this image and the next word element. Let's create an instance of the path as image path as paths dot get specifying the directory and the name of our image. Now to the image run add picture as files dot new input stream pointing to the image path specifying the image type as JPEG specifying the file name of the image using EMU specify its width and height as you want in the word document. I have an extra bracket let me remove it. Let's add the IO exception to the method signature. Similarly, the invalid format exception. Now let's see how to create a regular paragraph in the Word document. So let's create a paragraph element first, call it para1. Set its alignment to align from both sides. Create a string para text to specify the text we want in this para. Create a para1 run as para1.create run and set its text to the para1 text. Let's now see how to create a table in the Word document. So create an instance of xwpf table, table as document.create table. Let's create the first row, so xwpf table row, table row 1 as xwpf table dot get row at position 0. Of the table row 1, get this cell at position 0 and set its text as item number. To table row 1, add new table cell and set its text as item name, add another row cell and set its text as item price. Since this is our header row, let's get its cell 0 and set its color to the specified RGB code. Do it similarly for the cell at position 1 and 2 of this row. Now let's create the second row as xwpf table row as table row 2 calling table.create row. For the second row get cell at position 0 and set its text as 1. For the cell at position 1 text as chair, cell at position 2 text as 10. Create the third row. It is going to be similar to the second row so let me copy these lines and paste them here. Let me change the name to table row 3, set the text to 2, table and 20. Alright, it is now finally time to write our document to file. So create a file output stream out as new file output stream, document.write.out, out.close and document.close. We have specified the path and name of our file in the output variable, so put it as a parameter to the output stream. Let's go to our pom.xml file and add these two dependencies for logging. Go back to our main class and run it. The process finishes successfully. Let's go and see the output file we had named test.docx which is created here in the downloads folder. As you can see we have our title in bold the subtitle in the color we specified and underlined, our image object, our para element, and finally the table with its header row in the specified color and the two retail rows. Awesome! In this video, we created a Java project and using Apache POI saw how to create a Word document with various elements like the title, subtitle, image, paragraph, and table. Thanks for watching.